Did you bring your popcorn? Because I did. In anticipation of Waverly running it back with the Clinton Massey Falcons for the second straight season in the playoffs. Clinton Massey beat them last year, but Waverly was looking to make it a different story this year. Waverly's senior stars Wade Futhi, Will Futhi, and Penn Morrison came into this matchup looking to extend their high school football careers another game, but the Falcons had other ideas. Clinton Massey wasted no time getting to business with quarterback Cody Zantine taking the keeper to the end zone to put the Falcons up seven after their opening drive. The Tigers were able to match in just 90 seconds off a great kick return by Penn Morrison as he gets to finish off the drive with a great snag for the touchdown. The Falcons' tough and brutal wing tee offense wore down Waverly physically all night, with the Tigers struggling to stop what they knew was coming, as Carson Van Hoos takes the ball 37 yards for six. Will Futhi had himself a game as he waltzes in for, wait a minute, ball did not cross the plane. Clinton Massey recovered the ball in a crucial momentum shift in this contest. After the Falcons score on their ensuing drive late in the first half, Penn Morrison takes the squib kick 75 yards and he will not be caught, leaving everything to play for in the second half with the score 21-14 Clinton Massey. The X factor that turned the tide in this contest was none other than Carson Van Hoos. He averaged 127 yards a game this season, racking up 1,266 total yards and 19 touchdowns in the regular season. He did not disappoint today, exploding for 220 yards and five touchdowns, averaging 13 yards a carry. Waverly tried its best to keep their postseason hopes alive, but Van Hoos and the Falcons were too much to handle for the Tigers, ending their season by a final score of 49 to 28. Coach Crabtree reflects on Waverly's season as it came to a close. Some unique things happened this year um, that uh, you know our, our guys just did a really good job of overcoming and uh, just fighting through. And I think just the, the, the spirit that our guys had to build the fight and play to the very end, I think it was evident tonight and it's been evident all year long. For Gridiron Glory, I'm Curtis Fader.